Uh, Vera, welcome to Sport at 10 and welcome to South Africa. Thank you. Thank you How very does it much. feel to uh, now be in your new home? Um, I've landed on Monday morning. I've got the feeling that I've been running for since. <laughs> it's just uh, as if I've been here for three weeks uh, already. Yeah. What it is that you need to achieve here, Vera? Uh, what, what has been told to you? What is Safa saying in, say, in terms of, Vera, you're now the Banyana coach. This is what we want you to do. Uh, qualifying for the World Cup. Simple as that. Mm. 2015, and, uh, going to Canada. Canada, summer. And um, we will play the Comor Comores. The little uh, island, the yeah. The islands on the east, southeast of Africa. Um, in May, May and June, um, we must win, th win that. They are 118th of the FIFA World Ranking List. So if we do not win that, then we have nothing to do in Canada. There was something that was said that was quite interesting for me by um, the president of the association, uh, Dr. Danny O'Dan. And he said that he wants every national women's team to be coached by a woman eventually. Very good. Why is that important? Because every sport relies on the former athletes. Where in men's football, it's the former athletes who bring the game further, who've developed the game further. In any sport, that's the case. So with us, we need the former athletes and the experience of the former athletes to grow in the future. Are you uh, saying For continuity, football? for the ideas of international um, resistances, how the game developed, the history, what we experienced for leaving our family, for example, going away from home. And um, that's only women who can really, really feel that from inside. The other thing is, what kind of pressure do you feel? Because you are now coaching the most well-resourced national team in the Africa. That's true. That is true. But South Africa has had um, often a problem to get countries coming to th South Africa to develop. To play. Um, to play. South Africa has always does always need to travel and and that is a handicap in a sense of to get the people love you as a team and to support you and indeed get the the, the support of Cecil and of Nike and um, but the president has done really well and he has given the technical committee the, the assignment to well to find somebody with the experience that is missing here at mm. this moment um, and I think that that will bring us together with all the experience that I can learn from the people here um, and my experience from the international scene, especially with my work for FIFA. I've, I had to analyze all the World Cups since 1999 for them, making reports and DVDs. And so I know what's going around in the world. And I hope that that can give that little extra to the players what they need to get to the world stage. And can you want help on for Nigeria, the club? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Nigeria is physically very, very strong, but not so organized. And um, there is no opponent that at the end we cannot beat. No opponent. The thing is only that it's a short time to October. And we need to work really hard, really concentrated. And I hope everybody will support us, that the clubs will give us the time to develop to that level. Because if we would do well at the, um, at the Africa Cup and we will go to the World Cup, then everybody's going to benefit from it. All the clubs, all the players, even the little girls of six years old. I'm not going to call you Vera anymore. From now on, your coach. Coach, best of luck. Thank you very much.